I'd like to talk a little bit about four foot shear today and you'll see in this video this gentleman has a very tight calf muscle so you'll see here as he comes up over the top of his foot the heel is going to start to whip inward and the toes are going to start to turn inward also and there's going to be a pivoting effect on the metatarsal heads and with that in combination with what you're going to see in the next video is what causes a lot of shearing to the to the metatarsals um, and in the normal person causing callus pattern, but in the diabetic person putting them at really high risk of ulceration and breakdown of the uh, skin tissue. So as you're going to see here in just a second, you're going to see a little bit of, you can see where he is really tight here. Now he's coming up over the top. There's going to be a little sliding effect underneath the first metatarsal. A little hard to see in a very slow motion, but in a little bit faster speed, you can see it. Um, but here he starts to get really tight. He starts dissipating a lot of force over his metatarsals. Um, and now there's this little sliding back mechanism that you can see right there. And so that sliding and pivoting in combination um, puts people at high risk of and problems like metatarsalgia, Morton's neuroma, forefoot uh, ulcers, and many other foot and ankle related problems. So stretching the calf muscle out is very, very important in decreasing this amount of uh, callus formation and breakdown in the forefoot.